Well, um, I've been in the inner circle for a while, and um, I've developed a reputation over the years of being a slow implementer. Um, and uh, what, deservedly. And what I am noticing, though, is the gradual, you know, accelerating increase in my ability to implement stuff. Because I have a new slogan for myself. It's, uh, you can figure it out first, or you can do it, but you probably won't do both. <laughs> you can figure it out first, or you can do it, but you probably won't do both. Yes. And um, there have been a few times I've taken the plunge and I'm just like, oh, let's just try this thing. Um, and, you know, it works out. I'm, I'm a, we're all bright enough to get it done in motion. We're martial artists, we're used to making split second decisions that, you know, save our nose. Um, and uh, we're perfectly capable of making decisions over a three day time scale that save our business. And, you know, we're trained that way. We're trained to deal with crises. And I, know, I don't know about you guys, but for me, you know, um, it's always been very methodical, very, you know, month by month, over the year, develop the strategy, develop the spreadsheet, develop the, the plan, um, and then implement. It's a perfectionistic quality that I think a lot of black belts share. Um, and at the same time, you know, what wasn't being leveraged was that other ability, which is the ability to correct on the fly. And, you know, I, I, as evidence that this is starting to happen, as I looked at my goals for 2012, and, you know, there's some pretty ambitious goals there. And almost all of it's in motion. You know, and uh, more than half of it's complete. All right, so uh, that, that's, that's a big deal. And, and one of the things that Matt must really help me with is that I like to figure stuff out, and, and I tend to, you know, have very sophisticated models for stuff, and it makes it hard to translate the stack, you know, because like I'll get it, and it's you know three dimensional and has a twenty four point you know validation you know sequence, but you know then I read my stuff. This is a really great idea. Blah 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 blah. blah they tune me out. Um, you know, and and I have great staff. Like I hear staff complaints, I'm like, wow, that's so good. Um, you know, <laughs> um, I had too many great staff for a while. But, uh, what, what's been really valuable for me about being in the circle is that uh, I, I brought my two key people with me for the last few meetings. And what's great now is that rather than me inventing this stuff and handing it off to them and having them try and figure out what I could possibly mean, um, is that now they're inventing systems. They're bought into it. They're creating the stuff. So. Rather than me managing a team, um, I'm now part of a team, and we're managing each other. Um, and while it's still up to me, and I'm clear, it's up to me. I'm the, I'm the one in charge. I'm the one accountable for, for making it happen. Um, I also have people who are working creatively and actively with me, and that's a huge contribution. Um, which really makes a big difference when it's cool because they're coming from where I'm, where I'm coming from. Yeah. So um, that that's. Place where I've been, you know, where I don't know the extra few thousand dollars to bring them, and what if they don't like what they hear, and what if they hear all the money stuff and it turns them off? I get the concerns, they're very concerned to have thrown away bring bring back. It's really fantastic. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Unfortunately, the martial arts culture <coughs> permutates, right? It, 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 it like permeates the, the, the law of the lid, right? It like disseminates it down to all of our, our students. So, you know, only knowledge can come from the grand master, and God damn it, it better not come from anywhere else, right? That's totally counterproductive for operating a business at any scale. So, 21 Year Free of Leadership by John Maxwell, Law of the Lid. Read that one, it's like really useful. Who's next? Eric is he who shall not be seen. So um, he had to step out for me, which is great. That's okay. Paul. Paul. Oh, hey, Paul. Hi. I didn't know who we were playing. <laughs> <laughs>